hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be creating this very monochromatic makeup look for brown skin or brown girls this makeup look will absolutely suit anybody with tan deep dusky brown deep indian skin tones the colors are very much on the neutral and earthy side it has a lot of brown tinge to it so it would absolutely look fantastic on brown skin tones so if you want to know how i achieve this makeup look then please do continue watching So you guys all know how I roll. So I have cleansed my face using the Derma Vibe Hydra Cleanser, which is amazing even if you have sensitive skin types. Then I'm going to moisturize my skin using the Neutroderm Vitamin E Moisturizing Lotion, which I absolutely love either under makeup or even without any makeup on my skin. So I'm just going to spread this all over the face and neck and blend it nicely into the skin. This is a very beautiful moisturizer. It has a little bit of tackiness which helps your makeup to sit perfectly on top of this. It's a very good pre-makeup base. Now I'm going to fill in my eyebrows using the Sugar Arch Rival 3-in-1 Brow Definer in the shade Jerry Brown which is a beautiful deep brown shade and I'm going to use the pencil side to fill in any gaps in my eyebrows. This is more of a natural finish eyebrow product. Uh, so it's not going to get too intense. It's going to remain very much natural and just simply fill in any gaps. Once that is done, I'm going to take my Flower Beauty Lash, sorry, Light Illusion Concealer in the shade Medium Deep and apply that on top of my eyelids as a base for my eyeshadow as well as to clean under the bottom area of my eyebrows like I usually do. To blend it out, I'm using the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge, which I absolutely love. For eyeshadow today, I'm using the Nykaa Just Wink It eyeshadow palette in the shade Sweet Sunday, which is a beautiful brown-toned eyeshadow palette. I'm mixing those two light brown and dark brown shades. Both are matte on a blending brush and applying that on the crease as a transition, making sure that there are no harsh lines. Then I'm going to take this beautiful, deep, yummy, chocolatey, matte brown eyeshadow on a tapered brush and applying that only at the outer V of my eyes and slowly and gently uh, building up the intensity of this eyeshadow at the outer corners. I'm choosing brown tones today because I think brown tones look amazing on dusky complexions. I'm taking this gold shade, which again has a lot of brown undertones to it. It's a dull gold shade and applying that all over the um, eyelids, wherever you cannot see any eyeshadow. So that is the two thirds of the eyelids under the crease area and just packing the eyeshadow until I'm happy with it. For eyeliner today, I'm using the Color Essence Liquid Eyeliner. This is called their Supreme uh, Eyeliner in a black shade. And just lining my upper lash line, not really creating any particular um, eyeliner style here, just defining my upper lash line. Once that is done, I'm going to move on to the face. I'm using the Pack Po Filling Primer to prime my skin before I apply any foundation. So I'm just applying that to the main areas of the face and then I'm going to use my fingertips to fill in any pores and fine lines on my skin and also this um, primer is quite mattifying so it's amazing if you have oily skin and helps control your oil and keeps your oil at bay and everything is mattified then i'm gonna do a bit of color correction which is super important if you're a brown girl never miss color correction if you want that flawless finish i'm using the pack take cover concealer in the shade rusty orange it's a brilliant shade for dusky brown deep so dusky complexions and i'm just using the same beauty blender to blend it out make sure you blend out the color corrector otherwise it can get mixed up with your foundation For foundation, I'm using a very good, inexpensive, affordable foundation from Miss Claire. This is their everyday natural finish foundation. My shade is cinnamon. Uh, although it looks a bit lighter here, 
it kind of oxidizes after a while and blends uh, with the natural color of my skin tone so don't worry I'm just blending it out using a buffing brush which I got from Amazon and whatever is left I'm just running that on my neck and going over on top using the same damp beauty blender it's a beautiful foundation gives a satiny dewy finish looks very natural it's got about medium to buildable coverage I'm using the same Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer that I used earlier to conceal my under eyes as well as to brighten it up. I'm also brightening the center of my face as well. Again, I'm going to use the same damp beauty blender and gently tap in the concealer to blend it out. Once it is nicely blended, I'm going to set and bake my face using the K-Beauty Loose Powder in the shade Olive which is a beautiful shade for my complexion. So I'm just using that to bake underneath my eyes as well as around the mouth area where I crease a lot. While the powder is baking, I'm gonna finish off the eye makeup. I'm using the same deep chocolatey brown matte eyeshadow on a pencil brush and just running that on my lower lash line. Once the eyeshadow work is done, I'm going to brush off all of the excess loose powder away using a fluffy powder brush and set the rest of the face as well using the same olive shade loose powder. The K-Beauty powder is a beautiful powder. Uh, then I'm going to coat my lashes using the Mars Fabulash Mascara. I absolutely love this mascara. It compares to any other high-end mascara that is available. It is that brilliant. So I'm just coating my top and bottom eyelashes. To bronze up my skin, I'm using this Rimmel Lasting Radiance uh, Bronzer in the shade Espresso. Again, this is one of my most favorite bronzers. It's such a pretty color. It doesn't really have that red undertone, which looks very artificial. It's the beautiful uh, shade for my complexion. So I'm just applying that to the perimeters of my face, such as the hollows, the perimeters of my forehead, my jawline, and also using the same bronzing powder alongside my nose and underneath my bottom lip. It looks so beautiful and smooth on the skin. I absolutely love it. Uh, then for blusher, I'm using the Color Bar Cheek Illusion Blush in the shade Bronzing Glaze, another favorite. So I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks, a little bit on the nose and chin. I love this blusher color. If you have deeper brown complexion, absolutely pick this. It is so beautiful on deeper complexions. To highlight my skin, I'm using the Mars um, Highlighter in the shade Gold. Uh, I'll put the exact name in the description box but it is such a beautiful gold highlighter and it is also very very intense on the skin so a little bit goes a long long way and always gold highlighters look amazing on brown skin tones so opt for a gold one instead of a pink toned one I'm also highlighting the inner corners of my eyes and the brow bone area Coming to the lips, I'm taking the Swiss Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Chocolate. Again, this is a beautiful, deep, cool tone, chocolatey brown shade, which would look absolutely stunning on any brown skin tone. So I'm just applying that um, on the perimeters of my lips to overdraw them and to give them a pouty effect. For lipstick, I'm using the Sugar Matte Attack Transfer Proof Lipstick in the shade Caffeine Bandit. It is such a beautiful, neutral nude brown shade and the formula of this lipstick is amazing it completely sets into a transfer proof budge proof finish and this color is to die for you can also wear this even without a lip liner even then it would look absolutely stunning on any brown skin tones i love this shade To finish my makeup off, I'm using the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray to set my makeup and lock my entire makeup in place. And here is the final finished look which is super easy, glam, and looks absolutely beautiful on brown, deep, dusky, tan, Indian skin tones. The tone that I have used is very much on the earthy and brown tone side, so it would absolutely flatter on any brown skin. 
so yeah this is the look all the products that i use in this video will be listed in the description box i really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure to give it a huge thumbs up comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos make sure to follow me on my instagram i'll put the link in the description box hit the notification bell so that you can get notified each time i upload a new video on my channel take care of yourself and i shall see you guys soon in my next one bye